Hello, hello. Hello, Joanna. Welcome. Let's see. Can you hear me, guys? Yes. I see. Yes. You. All right. I want to see your cameras on, please. Good evening, everybody. All right. Welcome. So right now we are going to double check our next topic, right? So thank you so much for being on time. Vamos a chequear el próximo tema. A revisar. Excuse me. A revisar el próximo tema. Yes. Thank you for you uh, for you have uh, your cameras on. Thank you, uh, Nelson. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Alex. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Thank you, Jorge. Good evening. Good evening. All right. So let's go ahead and let's rock and roll the class. All right. So let's double check our thing first. I mean, our uh, motivation part. Okay. So I like to be motivated all the time. I don't know you, but I, I like to. All right. So we need to be motivated, right? Tenemos que estar motivados. Okay. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Excuse me. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. No veo, no veo, no veo. Vamos. Ok, screen. Aquí. Y acá. Vamos. All right. So, welcome back, everybody. So, as we mentioned before, we need to be motivated, right? So, every time we need to have at least one motivation in life, right? So, siempre tenemos que estar motivados, tenemos que tener una motivación en nuestras vidas, ¿verdad? En este caso, pues, a mí me gusta siempre traerles un, uh, good evening, uh, Alex, uh, me gusta traerles un quote o una frase, ¿verdad? La cual, pues, quiero que la pongan en, en su, en su hard disk, right? En su, en su, en su disco duro. ¿Verdad? Entonces, la siguiente frase es esta, pero primero repitamos. Motivation. Let's go. Come on. Motivation. 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 One more time. Motivation. Motivation. Very good. Excellent. All right. So, um, let me read this uh, quote first, and then we are going to repeat it together. Okay? So, déjeme leerla primero, y después la vamos a leer todos juntos. Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. One more time. Push yourself. Because Push no yourself. Yourself. Mm -hmm. because no one else is going to do it for you. Go ahead. All right. So what did that mean, teacher? What did that mean, Mr. Scamilla? Well, that means that you guys uh, need to, you need, usted tiene que empujarse. Usted tiene que meterle. Usted sola, usted solo. <laughs> Porque nadie, nadie en esta vida le va a ayudar. Nadie lo va a hacer por usted. Usted tiene que hacerlo por sus propios medios. Si usted cree que... O sea, no me, no me malinterprete, ¿verdad? Pero si vamos a aprender que nos va a caer la sabiduría, así por así, como dicen, del cielo solo la lluvia cae, ¿verdad? Entonces, no crea que le va a caer. Usted tiene que esforzarse, darle con todo, porque nadie lo va a hacer por usted. Y después usted va a ver los resultados, ¿ok? So, mándeme un like. Así de que se compromete, de que hay un commitment, que hay un commitment para hacer esto, ¿verdad? Mándeme un like o una manita, eso, very good. Y que lo vamos a hacer. Excellent. I like that. My class, right on. Let's see. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a regresar por acá. Vamos en esta clase. Permítame un momento. Ok. All right, so we were checking yesterday, right? So house and apartment, all right? So our topic, our new topic, basically the one that we are, the one that we are checking right now, it says, book, <coughs> excuse me, vocabulary, house and apartment. Repeat, vocabulary, a house and apartment. Come on, let's go. Vocabulary, 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 vocabulary house and house apartment. And apartment. Very good, very good, excellent. Right on, right on, right on. Okay, so, si usted mira acá, pues ya verificamos ayer parte de, ¿verdad? Ya podemos identificar qué es lo que trae una casa y qué es lo que trae un apartamento. House and apartment. Si usted oh. se fija, la casa tiene first floor and second floor. So, that means primer piso, segundo piso. Obvio, ¿verdad? Se sabe. Entonces, la diferencia que del apartamento, usted sabe que la mayoría de apartamentos están en, eh, ubicados en edificios, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este momento le voy a poner el video para que este, tengamos más, una idea más concreta, ¿verdad? Que es casi similar a lo que repetimos ayer. Let's go. Quiero ver quién me mandó acá. 
Very good. Let's see. After you complete this exercise, please. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about places in houses and apartments. Let's get started by listening and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe your home. Let me provide the following questions to help you do that. What rooms are in your house? What rooms are in houses in your country? All right, I just want to make a short parenthesis here, guys. Uh, a quick question. Do you know what a lobby means or what a lobby is? Yes. Hemos ido alguna vez a un hotel y hemos entrado a la recepción, ¿verdad? Y se ha fijado que hay como silloncitos, entonces ese es el, el lobby, ¿verdad? Donde usted puede, pues, okay, okay. ¿perdón? Donde usted se puede sentar y, y, o pedir información. Entonces, eh, en los apartamentos también existe el elevator, ¿verdad? Right? So, elevator es el ascensor, ¿verdad? Para los que no sabían, yo sé que muchos ya saben, ya saben todas estas partes. Si yo le pregunto, ¿qué quiere decir dining room? ¿Qué me contestaría? Comedor. Comedor. Excelente. What about living room? Sala. What about kitchen? Cocina. 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 And laundry, laundry room. La lavandería. La lavandería. Okay, exacto. Eh, y el garage. Eh, es como de guardar los carros. Okay. La cochera. And what about stairs? Escaleras. What about uh, hall? Hall. hall. Pasillo. Pasillo, Pasillo. correcto. Pasillo. Y el closet, ¿verdad? Que ya sabemos que es el closet, ¿verdad? Donde se guardan las, la, la ropa. <laughs> Exacto. Very good, very good. All right, so now let me send, let me send you to the break rooms. Let me send you to the break rooms, all right? So, and I want you to, you guys, double check with your partner or your classmate, um, ask each other, right? So, what rooms are in your house? Quiero que quede bien claro que cuando le preguntan what rooms are in your house, en este contexto de inglés, usted ya sabe que los, los rooms son todos estos, ¿verdad? Todo lo que usted mira, el dining room, el living room, el, todos lo que usted mira acá el, el kit, la, kit la, la, la cocina el laundry room todos verdad todos esos son los cuartos que usted tiene pretty much lo que dicen living room, I mean, lo que dicen room son los que usted puede decir oh I have a living room I have a dining room I have a laundry room my two bedrooms and that's it all right pero en este caso si yo le pregunto a Alex cuántos cuartos tienes en tu casa Alex ¿Qué se le viene a su cabeza, a Alex, cuando yo le hago esa pregunta? ¿En qué, en, ¿En qué se le vino a su cabeza ahorita? Yo le digo, ¿cuántos cuartos hay en tu casa? Eh, los que están construidos, los que están habitados, no. Ajá, no, pero sé que, 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 ¿cuál es el contexto que nosotros tenemos acá, aquí en nuestro país, que cuando mencionamos, hey, ¿cuántos cuartos hay en tu casa? Rápido ¿Dónde pensar, dormimos? ¿dónde dormimos, verdad? Exacto, <risa> ¿dónde dormimos? O sea, entonces aquí es diferente, all right, so let me send you to the break rooms and we are going to double check these things together all right so one second please i am accepting la invitación de los break rooms please give me one second después vamos a pasar lista para darle tiempo a los que no han llegado todavía <coughs> okay okay let's go
Alfredo, accept the mail invitation, please. What happened, William? All right, William, what happened? Do you get connected? Se conectó, no. Sí, pero Jenny Concepción no estaba conectada. Ah, no estaba conectada. Ok, ok. ¿Y usted, Jenny? Eh, Jancy, perdón. Sí, teacher, pero no se escuchaba nada. No se escucha nada, ok. I don't know what happened, sí. why. Lo mismo me pasó a mí, teacher. No contestó a nadie. Sí, que estaba viendo ahí que no me, no me, no me agarraban las, las invitaciones, se quedaron unos así, en, que siempre les manda la invitación, ¿verdad? Les manda la invitación, pero igual, no worries, all right? Sí, so... yo, sí aparecía una persona ahí, pero no, no hablo. Es que, como le digo, por eso es que hago yo la dinámica para que este, practiquemos, ¿verdad? O sea, practiquemos y este, eso nos hace perder la, la, la pena, ¿verdad? Nos hace perder el miedo a que cómo nos vamos a escuchar, porque si usted no pierde la pena, créame que le, se le va, le va a costar bastante, ¿verdad? Pero esperemos que no. Okay. All right, no worries. Ok, let's see. Uh, bueno, vamos a terminar de ver esto. Entonces, <coughs> yo le pregunto por decir, este, Glenda, how many rooms are in your house? What would be your answer? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta, Glenda? How in, many rooms? My, mm -hmm. in my house are uh, five. Rooms. There are in my, I mean, there, I mean, we have in my house like three, three rooms, right? So that's what you said. Eso lo que digo. Okay, three, three rooms. Okay, if I ask you, thank you, Glenda. Uh, Jancy, okay. how many, how many rooms? I mean, uh, what rooms are in your house? Mm. My room house um two just two all right so excellent you don't have to give me more more explain more information about it just like that just two three four five that's it all right so if i want to know more uh, more information i need to be more specific right so i need to ask you a hey, uh glenda a hey, jancy a hey, rosa how many kitchens do you have in your house Pero yo estoy siendo más específico, right? Les pregunto, how many kitchens? How many, I mean, uh, how many dining rooms do you have? Oh, I do have two dining rooms because my house is pretty, is pretty big. Está, está bien grande. Y así me va explicando usted eh, paso a paso, ¿ok? Vamos a terminar de ver esto. Creo que ya terminamos acá. Let's see. What rooms are in apartments in your country? After you complete this exercise, Please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. So, si estamos, tienen alguna preguntita con respecto al apartamento y a las casas, de, de acuerdo a los cuartos que hay, alguna pregunta, algo que usted no lo pueda pronunciar bien. Acuérdese lo que le dije la vez pasada. We need to open your mouth, our mouth, you know, a little bit, you know, more than 
as usual, all right? So, porque si usted me dice bedroom, 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 no se le entiende, bedroom, bedroom, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente eso como recordatorio, okay? Let's repeat, less, uh, less an adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Lesson adjective. Okay, let me read it uh, first, uh, and then we are going to practice, okay? By the end of this class, you will learn how to respond yes, no questions in the, in the simple present. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about an apartment, which illustrates how this topic, how this topic is used in a real-life setting. <laughs> Okay. What does that mean? Si quiere decir esto, aquí lo tenemos. Al final de la clase, usted aprenderá, ustedes aprenderán cómo responder a preguntas con respuestas cortas, sí, no, en presente simple. Adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación sobre un apartamento la cual ilustra, con, la cual ilustra cómo este tema es usado en escenarios de la vida real. Ok. So, vamos a pasarnos acá. Vamos a ver. Por ejemplo... Uh, this conversation, right? Si usted se fía, aquí, ten, aquí tenemos a Linda y a Chris. All right? So, Linda and Chris. So, let's repeat conversation, my new apartment. Conversation, my new apartment. Very good. Just one, uh, solo tengo un estudiante, solo un estudiante me repitió. Conversation, my new apartment. Conversation, my new apartment. Very good, very good. All right? So, all right, let's see. Okay, tenemos a Linda and Chris, right? So let me read it first and then we're gonna practice together, okay? So this uh, le dice, uh, le dice Linda, guess what? I have a new apartment. Chris le contesta, that's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Le contesta Chris, is it very big? Le contesta Linda, well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Le dice Chris. On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice, le dice Chris. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay? Ahora, entendamos que lo que dice acá, ¿verdad? Por si no sabemos la traducción. Entonces, lo que quieren dar, dar de entender, ¿verdad? Dice, hey, te digo algo, le dice, tengo un nuevo apartamento. Eh, hey, qué, qué chévere, qué grandioso. Eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo está? Está bien hermoso, está bien bonito. ¿Está grande? ¿Está bien grande? Y le dice la niña, le dice Linda, bueno, tiene una, una sala, tiene un, un, un pequeño baño, perdón, una, un pequeño cuarto, tiene un baño y tiene una cocina. Le dice Grace, ¿a dónde está? Está sobre la Lakeview Drive. Ese es el nombre de la calle, ¿verdad? Entonces le dice ella, oh, qué chévere. Y tiene, ah, no, él, perdón. Oh, nice, le dice. Y tiene alguna vista panorámica o algo por el estilo. Sí, le dice. Tiene una y tiene una vista bien, bien grande desde otro edificio de apartamentos que está ahí cerca, ¿ok? Entonces, solamente eso vamos a verificar en esta parte de la plataforma. Ahora bien, regresamos acá para que lo entendamos de una mejor manera. Vamos a ver. Estamos acá. Déjenme ver si lo... ¿Pueden ver el video? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. let's go. Let's go. Oh. Is it very big? Okay. Let's go. One second. About a real life setting. Let's get started about an apartment. How this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. My new apartment. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real Ay, life setting. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. 
It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns I, you, we, and they, do, or don't. For the pronouns he, she, and it, does, does. or doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, they do. Or negative by saying no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying yes, he does or negative by saying, no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and co- All right, Makitas, let me explain this, uh, this, this chart. All right, so let me try to explain like the way this guy did. All right, so déjeme explicarle este, con tal vez con otras palabras para que usted lo entienda en una mejor manera, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué estamos viendo acá? Es el simple present short answers. ¿Cuáles son estas las short answers? Son aquellas que le, le dije yo la vez pasada, ¿verdad? ¿Se recuerda? Cuando usted contesta en otras palabras por decir que no quiere dar más explicación, pues, ¿verdad? No quiere dar mucha explicación. Yo le digo, do you live in an apartment, Ana María? Ana Marina. Viene Ana Marina y me dice... Yes, I do, pero, o si no, si ya ni, si no me, ni, ni me conoce, o sea, me va a decir, no, I don't, y se va a dar la vuelta, ¿verdad? Pero si usted me conoce, usted me dice, yes, I do, I live in an apartment, I live with my kids, I live with my, with my, with my husband, and, and bla, 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 ¿verdad? Me, me da una gran información, pero entonces, como dijo él, cuando se refiere con este, con este auxiliar o este verbo que tenemos acá, ¿verdad? O auxiliar que también es auxiliar, lo tenemos acá. Do you live in, a, in an apartment? So, le estoy preguntando a usted. Entonces, viene usted y me dice, yes, I do. No, I don't. Si sí vivo en un, si sí vivo, no vivo. O sea, queda entender que si sí vive en un apartamento o no vive en un apartamento, de acuerdo a este contexto, a esta pregunta. En la segunda... ¿Verdad? En la segunda, déjeme explicarle. En la segunda, aquí dice, este, do the bedrooms have windows? Entonces, ¿por qué él mencionó ahí que era plural? Entonces, ¿por qué? ¿Tiene que? ¿Por qué es plural? Aquí, este, bedrooms. Tiene varios cuartos. Pero, ¿pero qué lo hace? La S, la S, bedrooms. Bedrooms, excellent. Entonces, 
para esto le vamos a poner yes they do ah. pero por qué they porque son esos ellos esos cuartos verdad ellos vamos a ponerle que ellos entonces vamos a usar yes they do no they don't all right so usted ahí identifica dónde va a utilizar el they verdad entonces para esta para esta para esta oración para esta pregunta vamos a poner yes they do no they don't si si tiene eh, si tienen ventanas, no tienen ventanas, ¿verdad? Entonces, para entenderlo de una mejor manera, más fácil, él explicaba que para los pronombres I, you, we, and they, vamos a utilizar don't, I mean, do and don't, all right? Que está acá, mire. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos they aquí. Vamos a utilizar do, don't. Para los pronombres he, she, en it vamos a utilizar does and doesn't. All right, so ahora nos pasamos al tercer ejemplo. Does Chris live in a house? Teacher. Dígame. I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Eh, por ejemplo, si dice do the bedrooms, si solo fuera, digamos, una habitación, se utilizaría does the bedroom. I don't know. Do the bedrooms have windows or do the bedroom? Ah, es que ese eh, tiene el do porque hablamos de ellos. De ellos, Pero exactly. mi pregunta es, si solo fuera una, si solo preguntáramos por una habitación, tendríamos que poner, does the bedroom have windows? Mm, en este caso sería, yes, y permítame quiero it, ver it does it, it does yes it does yes uh -huh. very good question yes it does porque solo estaríamos hablando de, de un de un cuarto verdad mm -hmm. ahí, ahí lo identificamos entonces igual la pregunta sería does the bedroom does, does the bedroom does the bedroom has windows have windows mm -hmm. or have window all right have windows yes este viene yes it does no it doesn't porque estamos hablando solamente de uno ¿Verdad? De uno, que sería en este caso una cosa, ¿verdad? Un cuarto es prácticamente una cosa que tenemos así superficial alrededor de nosotros, ¿verdad? Pero okay. sí, sí, sería de esa manera. Very good question. Ok, thank you. Very good, uh, you're welcome. So, en este caso, donde dice, does Chris live in a house? Does Chris live in a house? So, ¿a quién se refiere? ¿Quién es Chris en esta, en esta pregunta? Sí. El, sí. El. Él, ¿verdad? He, exactly, he. Entonces, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. All right, so, entonces, usted ya sabe de que para el he, el she y el it va a ser does and doesn't. All right, ¿verdad? Entonces, estamos claros en esta parte ahí. Entonces, nos vamos ya a la última. Donde dice, does the house have a jar? La casa tiene, tiene, tiene patio. Yes, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Uh -huh. lo, lo, que, lo, que, lo que decía en este caso Glenda, ¿verdad? Es como que dijéramos, does the house have a, 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 a window? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. ¿Verdad? Entonces, de así sería formulada la pregunta en este contexto. ¿Verdad? ¿Tienen alguna otra preguntita con respecto a, este, a esta estructura, a este grammar structure, guys? ¿Tiene alguna, alguna pregunta, algo que no lo, no lo haya entendido? Acuérdese de que tiene que practicar más en su casa. Esto no es, como le digo, y no me malinterprete, ¿verdad? No, no, no es mágico. Qué galán, ¿verdad? Fuera, ya pudiéramos, ya fuéramos, este, ¿cómo le dicen? Políglo, políglotas, algo así creo que le dicen. A la gente que habla okay. más de, los que hablan más de siete idiomas. Pero entonces ya, ya fuera... Uh -huh. No, le, le, le digo yo de que esto no es mágico. Me refiero a de que tenemos que seguir practicando. We need to practice every single day, every single time. Because if we don't practice, it's going to be harder for us to learn what we've been checking. Si no practicamos, va a ser más duro lo que hemos venido checa chequeando tu juntos. ¿Verdad? Ahora bien, antes de pasar al siguiente tema, voy a pasar lista. Permítame, quiero ver. Antes que okay. se nos olvide, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Vamos a pasar lista. Un momento, por favor.
All right. Okay. Today, what date is today, guys? What date? It's night or eight. Uh, okay. night. Night. Night, night. Very good, very good, very good. It's Wednesday, right? So okay, let's go. Um, let's see. Abigail Elizabeth Noyola Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Ana Maria Casares Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. She's not here. Okay. Eva Elizabeth Ordonez Martinez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Glenda Karina Baños de Serna. Present, teacher. Hugo Adalberto Orellana Vides. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Joana Guadalupe Fernandez uh, La Reinaga. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, let's see, Jorge Alberto Medino Quintanilla. I hit teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Carla Esmeralda Orantes Andres. She's not here. Uh, Carla Sofia Gonzalez Montano. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Perez. Mm -hmm. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto Perez. Present. Thank you, miss. Maria Auxiliadora Cornejo de Diaz. Present, Thank you, Miss. Uh, Maria Auxiliadora. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay next. Mariela Elizabeth Avalos Barahona. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Minor Alexander Santos Solis. Minor Alexander Santos Solis. Okay, he's not here. Melissa Giselle Lopez Franco. Melissa Giselle Lopez Franco. She's not here. Okay. Moises Abraham Rodas Chavez. Moises Abraham Rodas Chavez. Está aquí. Nelson Rutilio Orellana, Giraeta. Present. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Pedro Nathan Ramírez Andrade. Pedro Nathan Ramírez Andrade. Okay. Raúl Alexander Belloso Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos de Márquez. Present. Rosa, okay, excellent. Uh, Rosa Feliciana Argueta. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rudy Omar Rivas Diaz. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Ruth Noemi Nunez Pertica. Ruth Noemi Nunez Pertica. <coughs> She's not here. And Sara Abigail Carrillo Chavez. Sara Abigail Carrillo Chavez. Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Stephanie Carolina Javier Barrera. Swanny Marilaisis Hernandez Cornejo. Suani Marilaisis Hernandez Cornejo. 
Wilder Gabriel Chica Alvarenga. Wilder Gabriel Chica Alvarenga. William Alfredo Martinez Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Yancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. Yancy Stephanie Alvarado de Escalante. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Jenny de la Concepción Urbina de Meléndez. I am here, teacher. Thank you, man. All right. Let's see. Uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres. All right, let's go. Let's see. All right, let's go with the class. Let's see. One second. The review. Let me share right now. Let's see, we were in a different type over here. Just a moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a moment, please. Okay. Teacher. Okay, guys, uh, do, you, do you have access to view that, to view the, the screen? Yes? Yes? Pueden yes. verlo? Very good. ¿Quién me dijo algo? Yes. Hay una voz eh, aquí. Sí, sí. Ahí en el grupo, ahí han puesto a alguien que no, no puede encender el micrófono, no sé. ¿Quién es? Minor sí. Alexander. Ajá, sí. Ok, este... Bueno, si me está escuchando, Minor, mándeme un mensaje ahí, ahí al, al, al grupo, o si no, para agregarlo al final, ¿verdad? Este, quiero ver, creo que lo podemos hacer ahorita. Permítame un momento, ¿ok? Minor Alexander. Rapidito lo voy a hacer, perdón, guys. Si no, pues, la lista es Minor. Vamos a ver. Minor, aquí está, muchacho. Okay. Okay, ya está. Okay, ya está minor. No se preocupe, ya lo puse ahí en la lista. Okay, bonus. All right, guys. So now let's uh, double check this uh, exercise that we have here. Okay, so let me uh, double check with you. Let's see. We're, we will start with... Who's going to be my guest right now? Let's see. Este, Rosa and Hugo, please be my guest and start with the conversation, please. Linda, eh, es usted, Rosa, and Hugo, serás Chris. Okay, let's go. Guess that I have a new apartment. That is great. That is light. It's really light? beautiful. It's very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bathroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Um, Lucky View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Thank you. Round of applause for you guys. All right, let's repeat. That's great. That's right. It is very big. It is very is big. Very big. I'm sorry. Is it very big? Is it, it is very, very big? big. Very big. Mm -hmm. is very big. Yes. What it's like. Repeat. What is like. What it's like. What it's like. And repeat building. Building. Repeat great. Good Good idea. Idea. Very good. Okay. Okay. Now Nelson and Maria, please be my guest. Maria Auxiliadora. Nelson Rutilio, go ahead. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's where that's great. That's what is great. it? What what is it like? It's a really beautiful. 
This is very big. Well, I it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On the like like your drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a have a uh, view? Yes, I do. It has a great view of some other apartment building. 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 Very good. Okay, Jorge and Joanna, be my guests. Run applause for you guys. Go ahead. Where's what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? Is really beautiful. Is it a uh, very light, very big? Where is a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of the another apartment building. Very good. Okay, now we'll run a pause for you guys. Very good. Uh, William and Ana Marina. Yes. What I have a new apartment. That great. What is like? It is really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room. A small, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Um, like view drive. Oh, nice those in have a view. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building. Very good. Run applause for you. Very good. All right, Glenda and Nelson, please be my guests. Go ahead. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. This is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake Bear Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. I has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Very good. Round of applause for you, Alex and Abigail. Please be my guests. Alex and Abigail, be my guests, please. Yes, that. I have a new apartment. That's great. What it's like? It's really beautiful. Is it a very big? Well, it, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Um, like you view, right? Oh, nice. Do you have a view? Yes, I does. 
It has a great view of another apartment building. 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 Very good. Round of applause for you. Very nice. Very nice. Eva and uh, and Hugo, please be my guest. Quest what I have in this apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It's very big. Well, it has big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and the chicken. What is it? Oh, living room. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has great bit of inner apartment building. 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 Okay, thank you. Okay, now Jancy and Minor. Guess what? I have a net apartment. Minor, are you there? Teacher Minor puso que no les funcionaba el... Okay, that's great. What is like? It really beautiful. Is it very big? Will it has a big living room, a small bedroom, um, bedroom, um, a kitchen? Where is it? On Liver Dream. Lakeview Drive. On Liver Dream. Lake, <laughs> Lake View. Lake View. Lake View. Very good. Excellent. Drive. <laughs> yes, it does. That is as a great view of another apartment. I know apartment. Mm -hmm. Build. Building. Building. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Marielos and Pedro, please. Yes, but I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful, beautiful. It is very big. We I had the living room, a small bedroom, ba and bathroom and kitchen. Where is it? On living room drive. Oh nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has great bit of another apartment wall building. Very good. Building. Repeat. Building. Repeat one more time. Building. 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 Very. building. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see Rudy, Jenny, and Rudy, please. Yeah, yes, what I have in your apartment. That's green. What is like? It's a really beautiful. Is it very big? With it has a living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Um, like give you drinks. Oh, nice. Does, does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a broad view of another apartment view building. Building, very good, very good. Building. building. 
Excellent. 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 Okay. Carla and Catherine Carletto, be my guests, please. Catherine Carletto and Carla, are you there? ¿Quién, quién no me ha participado? Nelson, ¿ya participó Nelson? Yes, pero podemos okay. seguir. Ok, uh, ayúdenme acá a alguna niña que no haya participado. Quiero ver, mándenme ahí la manita. Uh, con Catherine, ok. Ok, Catherine, okay. Catherine and, and Nelson, please. Pues, what I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Where is it? Um, what is pronunciation? Lake Kauai. Lake, Lake, Lake View Drive. Lake View Drive. Okay. Lake View Drive. Thank you. Yes. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it is. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Anybody else? Everybody participate. Alguien que no haya participado. Para que me la ayude algún uh, caballero por acá, please. Nobody? Everybody? Okay. Excellent. All right. So, guys, uh, you did a good job. Remember, hay que ser honesto, ¿verdad? No me malinterprete, okay? So, tenemos unas fallas en la pronunciación, pero se, se entiende porque vamos comenzando. All right. Por eso yo le, yo le explico. Tratemos de abrir un poquito la, la boquita y de hablar más fuerte. ¿Verdad? De hablar un poco más okay. fuerte. Para que usted tenga, sí. empiece a pronunciar mejor. ¿Verdad? Si no se lo habían dicho, pues hoy se lo digo yo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ábrame un poquito la boquita. Si usted dice, no me diga, no me diga. Yes. No, yeah. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What it's like. It's really beautiful. Así que, a que se oiga... Con su acento, no se preocupe. El acento usted lo va a ir agarrando, va a ir agarrando práctica, pero usted abre un poquito la boca y ya va a ver que va a empezar a pronunciar mejor. Después dice, Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake View Drive. Oh, nice. Does it has a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Así. Aunque se oiga así, tal vez se oye golpeado, ¿verdad? No me malinterprete. Se oye golpeadito, pero usted lo va a expresar mejor. Eso lo, se lo digo por su bien para que usted empiece a pronunciar mejor. Después se le va a hacer más fácil. Como le dije yo ayer, la primera no le va a salir, ni la segunda, ni la tercera. Le va a salir como por la cuarta, quinta o sexta. O sea que ahí vamos, ahí vamos, all right? Just practice, practice every day, all right? So the first one, maybe you fail on the first, on the first uh, attempt. Tal vez usted falle en el primer intento. Second attempt, third attempt, fourth attempt. En el fifth attempt, ahí ya va a empezar usted, hey, ya, ya digo bien, uh, great. Antes decía green, decía. Por ahí escuché que dijeron green. Y es great. 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 Ajá, sí. Great. Se lo escribo acá, permítame, para que lo entendamos mejor. Teacher, uh, great. Great. Así, great. Así como más mira ahí, mira. Great. 
Pero, se escribe, pero se escribe Great, ¿verdad? Gre, great. Se escribe así, ¿verdad? Pero se pronuncia como al principio. Great. Great. ¿Verdad? Entonces tengamos esa. Bueno. Great. Great. Exactly. No me diga green sí. ni gree. No. Great. All right. Very good. Very good. You, right. lo, lo estamos haciendo bien. Lo estamos haciendo bien. No se me sofoque ni se me frustre que lo está haciendo bien. Solamente que hay que tener un poco de paciencia y seguir instrucciones. ¿Verdad? Si usted, si usted se enoja, pierde. ¿Verdad? El que se enoja, pierde. Dijo, dijo aquel. ¿verdad? Entonces, tiene que este, seguir las instrucciones para que usted pueda aprender rápido. Yo quiero que aprenda rápido, ¿verdad? Ok, so now, let's repeat. Knowledge check. Repeat. Knowledge, knowledge check. check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. All right. We, knowledge what we're going check. to do, we will try to answer this uh, knowledge check knowledge today. Check. Or, thank you. Or maybe tomorrow, okay? Yeah. So, let me read the instructions, okay? Acuérdese que siempre hay que leer las instrucciones para todo lo que usted va a hacer o va a, a complementar. Dice así, instructions. Complete the conversation. Select the option that completes the two blanks fields in each sentence or question. ¿Qué dice acá? Instrucciones. Complete la conversación. Seleccione la opción que completa los dos campos en blanco en cada oración o pregunta. Ahora bien, yo pregunto. ¿Ya terminaron este ejercicio? Yes. All right. Yes. So, ¿Qué dice acá? Yes. Dice, complete la conversación, seleccione la opción que complete los dos campos en blanco en cada oración o pregunta. En este caso, ¿cuál sería? Linda. Dos likes. Das likes. La última. La última. Das live. Das live. Ok, das live. Linda. Das. La primera, teacher. Porque sería, do you live in a park? Do you live? Mm -hmm. Do you live? Okay. La tercera, la tercera. No. That's leaves. ¿Cuál, cuál es, pues? La, do la tercera. Do la tercera. Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Do you live? Uh -huh. Do you live in apartment? Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. You're my teacher. Okay. So now it says here, Chris, <laughs> na, what? Don't. No, I don't. I live. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't, right? I live in a house, right? Chris. No, I don't. I live in a house, all right? So, very good. Okay, so, Linda. Linda does. It's a house. La segunda. No, uh, that's 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 mm -hmm. Linda, does it have a yard? Mm -hmm. All right. And yes, yes. It, it doesn't or that's it does. It oh, okay. it does. It does. Yes, it does. Does. Linda, that sounds that sounds nice. Do you live alone? Does Not you live alone? Right. Primera, Very good. Chris, no, I don't. I, I don't. live with my family, right? I, uh -huh. No, I don't. Okay. That sounds nice. Um, do you have any brothers or sister? Do you have? Uh -huh. Do you have, right? So, yes, I do. I have. Yes. Have. Okay. Have. Excellent. Linda really does. All right. Eh, no falta. Vamos a terminar. Uh, okay, terminemos lo que terminemos. Yes. Ya, solo falta. Okay, uh, Linda really what? Do you have? Do you have? Uh -huh. Linda, do your mm -hmm. house has, I mean, do your house, Linda, really, house. do your house, does have, does have, does your house have many bedrooms, all right, 
increase. Yes, 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 it does. Yes, 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 has. Has or have? Has, has, has. Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh. Linda, do you... Do you have, have. Oh, that's your. And do you have? Do you have, right? Oh. Yes. Do you have? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. And yes, yes. I yes. do. I am I really do. lucky. I do. Okay, let's go on. So, ta da. Okay. Good. All right, All right guys. I see great. you tomorrow. I have a. Wonderful night, rest of the night, and try to practice, try to complete your platform. Remember, try to, you know, yes. trate de avanzar, y I see you tomorrow. Have a good night, and God bless, okay? Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you sir. See you. See you tomorrow. God will. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Así es, terminación treinta y cuatro. Mami, hoy se está dando a un de tiene cuatro en la ropa y en Santa Elena, pero si te apoyo. Thank you, Ticha. Thank you. Have a good night. Take care. Bye bye. Gracias,